15 or so years ago, the railway hotel was looking a bit dodgy in terms of, uh, you know, whether whether it was going to continue or not. Um, and I looked around for another gig, um, and I really couldn't find anything satisfactory. And we owned this building. The building above this, the concrete floor had cracked and was subsiding, uh, and the, the tenant at the time had left, or was leaving. We dug up the concrete floor and then found that all of the sand that was underneath it was just rubbish, like a rubbish dump. I thought, well, it's an opportunity to make a, a venue for the band to play. So we dug a great big hole. There it is. <laughs> playing 10 years we've had our 10th birthday I came out of a cake believe you me that was something so I was in a bout of depression that second or third time that I, I arrived here whoever was looking after the counter never turned up and Roy asked us all would we do it and nobody would would go ahead and, and do it I said I'd do it once and I've been here ever since, and that's at least 10 years later. Uh, but it was part of the cure. It got me out of that black hole. remember is the is the, the first scenes of that film some like it hot where you know they come along with the hearse and and um, there's the funeral parlor with the fellow playing the organ and you go in the funeral parlor and, it, and the password is I've come to grandma's funeral and he pulls a pulls a stop on the organ and the door slides open and there's this huge nightclub in there you know <laughs> great <laughs> um, and I sort of thought, how can we recreate that sort of atmosphere, you know? Um, and the, well, that's how that's. I had the phone box, and I thought, yeah, we could put that there. It wouldn't take up much space. Um, you go in the phone box, and the, the back door opens, and uh, you know, then you come in, and there's this this terrific atmosphere. Go home and you can't go to sleep. No. I can't go to sleep. No. I've got to sit for another hour because our mind's going yeah. flying. Me too. Okay. Yeah. So your, your energy levels are up high. Your mental, yeah, you can't right. relax. I've got to you just go. <laughs> and a glass of wine puts you to sleep. But no, it's, it's, that's what it is. It's, once again, it's this energy bit. It's yeah. always energy. But um, I was an opera singer, but now I have a deep voice and I sing trad jazz. And these, these guys. They're very good to me, you know. They allow me to have a couple of songs every Friday night. And that's really something, because when you get to 83, you wouldn't, you don't expect to be singing like uh, the younger ones. But I tell you what, I'll be singing when they put the nails in the box. And it's such happy music that everybody's happy. It doesn't matter what you feel like when you come in. The next thing you know, you're laughing. <laughs> Because there's nothing much like it, really. There's not really a place like this, really. Think about it, you know. The old days are gone, but this is not. This is good.
if I build it and it doesn't work, I can always let it. You know, make a great knocking shot. <laughs>